What's up, budget buddies? It's Kim. Welcome to Debt to None. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Okay. We're not emotional. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we aren't. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. I, oh, anyone experience debt payoff fatigue, debt-free journey fatigue? What else can we call it? Fatigue? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a certain kind of way. I'm feeling icky. And so I'm trying to put a name to it. Um, why am I feeling icky? Okay. there's one thing I do know how to do well and that's spill my guts <laughs> talk about my feelings keep it real and I'm about to have a moment with y'all I'm about to have a moment right now I'm about to have a moment I'm about to just talk about it okay so if you're feeling the way I'm feeling the way I'm about to describe how I'm feeling or you have felt it let me know in the comments and let's talk about it is it disappointment First off, I realized today that my math wasn't mathing properly. Who said that? Melissa, budget stuff saver Pete. What's up, girl? Hey, hey. I realized my math wasn't mathing properly. <laughs> Let me just tell you, being a digital budgeter, cashless, it can be tricky, right? It's not as easy where you've got your envelopes and your cash is stuck. And then you just, you know, you bring your envelopes to the store or whatever, and that's all you have. When you're all digital, I mean, you've got, you got a lot of these, right? So, and yeah, <laughs> I mean, you could have a lot of those with cash too, but it's really easy to swipe a card if that's all you ever do. So. To keep me focused, I stare at my budget. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. I'm being so serious right now. I stare at it. I'm not joking. I do that. I do that with my budget. I stare at it and I'm like, okay, okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're good. I do. I look at it every day. My debt payoff plan, I look at that every night. It's like my bedtime story, you know? Daddy, can you tell me a bedtime story? This is it. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young lady that got into a lot of debt and then she paid it all off like that. Boom. I like, this is my bedtime. So before I go to sleep, I stare at every number. It's the weirdest thing. As I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, is that weird? But this is how I stay focused and this is how I stay motivated. So I'm constantly looking at what I've already mapped out for myself. And I'm like, okay, this is what, all right, okay. Okay, then next month, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. We're on track, we're on track. And plus it's a reminder, like, you can't be spending any money, you know? You better forget about that shopping spree. Well, today I mapped or took a look at the numbers again, as usual. I started doing some math. I sent $1,000 over to my personal loan. And I talked about how the interest was there. Like, oh, if you'd like to pay this off in full, pay the $7,000 plus the interest, which when I checked, it was eighteen ninety six. dollars well, today when I went to go pay a thousand dollars towards it, it was up to twenty five, twenty eight, and I and I don't know. I was just like, wait, what? Why is this growing? Did Kim really ask that? Why? Why is the interest growing? Well, isn't that what it does? So I started feeling a certain kind of way because I was like, I think I messed up. 
So then I went to the whole plan and I started calculating the numbers that I had already put on the sheet. And I realized they were off. They were off because I did not include any interest for January. In January, that's when it all went down. <laughs> the whole dental stuff. It was in January. And so, uh, Kimberly, what was I thinking? Of course, as soon as you sign on a dotted line, it's time to start adding on that interest. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't calculate it. I calculate every single step as far as this debt payoff is concerned, because that's, that's the only way I know how to do this. That's how I, I, I like to be very detailed. I like to see what I'm doing. I like to see if there's a better way. If I write it one way, is there a better way? Next week. It's me, you know? So I messed up. I didn't, I didn't do the math right. When I revealed my debt payoff plan for the, this increased debt, I said, oh, I calculated it. I'll be paying about $150 in interest on this loan. Hey, that's really good. That's the best decision I could have made in those circumstances. Well, when I mapped it out today, it's $191 because in the beginning months, it's like $40 of interest, January, February, you know, when that balance is higher, we're talking like $40 worth of interest. I don't know. It's like, I got so, is, is it discouraged or just disappointed? I start feeling gloomy. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Does, I didn't want to follow this. You know what? This morning I was watching uh, Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me. Um, it was her debt confession. And there was something she said about her credit card debt. About how, you know, like ugh, her, her emotions with that and how it keeps her up at night, you know? And she's just like, I, I guess, you know, she was beating herself up about it. I know that feeling. Someone out there probably knows that feeling too. Um, I do that. I, I do that. And I know that all of my little, the debt that I'm dealing with, everything the, the, on the credit cards and the consumer debt, I, I recognize these were like big things that needed to take place. I needed to replace my roof. I needed new siding. What else was on there? The windows I, I paid off roof siding and now my teeth my dental care it's not designer handbags it's not what I was doing before you know living life it's nothing like that you know but I still feel like ugh, about it and I and I and that's not I don't think that's that advantageous, you know, to beat yourself up about it. Um, but when you have, I was watching someone else and I don't remember her name. Uh, she's not a budgeter. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there because I do pay to whatever. When you have like negative feelings, she was kind of bringing out when you have like negative feelings towards something, it's not necessarily a bad thing because it can push you on you know, to greater things, to, to, to make moves in your life, you know, that will work out better for you, can push you harder in your goals. It's true. I'm drinking chai tea again. <laughs> I love chai tea. I love coffee first thing in the morning and then my tea throughout the day. I heard this quote and I, I, I just want to like, I don't know where I heard it. It was on YouTube. That's all I can say. Uh, maybe it was Rachel Cruz. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But anyway, I, I wrote it wrote it down in my cell phone. You have the ability to create great money habits regardless of your income. And I was thinking, that is so true. Because I have spent so many years with just bad, bad money habits, just bad. 
you know, I, I wasn't raised to have great money habits. My, my poor parents lost their house when I was a, a baby, a toddler. And then they just, you know, weren't, weren't good with like credit cards and things like that. So I, I grew up with the fear of buying a house and losing it. And so I just was like, well, I never want to own a house. And then on the other side, another fear I had or thing that was ingrained in me was my dad saying, you have to have good credit. You have to have good credit. I'm, I, I think because I, I was in such a hurry to accomplish my goals and I want to see progress at a faster rate, which is like, I feel like that's kind of a dream. Like I'm starting to feel broke um, because February I was trying to pay $2,000 to my loan, my personal loan. And that's a large amount for me because I still have the other credit cards that I have to pay. The other balance transfers that I have to pay. And so I met, you know what, you know what I'm feeling right now? I think it's like, this is my time my heart to heart with my sponsor, my accountability team. Cause that's why I started this channel to be accountable and to, and to be, to stay focused on the, the task at hand to pay off my debt and to stop getting into debt. My debt grew twice in this short period of time. September in the middle of my journey in September, it grew because of the roof. Um, I was able to buy a water heater with my emergency fund savings. So that was great. That happened in November. That was good, but it kind of depleted my emergency fund. That felt bad. That felt like a setback, but not really. And then in January, boom, dental, seven grand. You know, okay, okay. But we're still on the journey, right? We're still on the journey. And... And that's good. I'm glad, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling right now. And it's, it's probably not good. I, it, I don't feel good <laughs> with, I don't feel good. I feel so bad and I'm upset and I, I want to shake it off. I want to be like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I feel good. Everything's good. We're doing great. But it's like, I, it, I can't shake it. I'm thinking about making a decision that might not be the wisest decision, but I, I don't know. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say this and you guys, you could come for me. I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl. I'm, I am, I can, I got, I got pretty thick skin now. I didn't always, I didn't always, but if you want to come for me, we can go, let's go. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about doing another balance transfer. <gasps> okay. Ah. No. Um, yeah. That's crazy, right? Because that's why I have all these credit cards. They're not because I'm using them. I don't, you know, I don't carry them. They stay at home. They stay in, in a wallet that I never carry, this wallet. I stay in there. Um, <laughs> that's what, can I just tell you? Balance transfer. Balance transfer. That's a discover. Balance transfer, Citibank. Balance transfer. Uh, that was my credit mean. Balance transfer. That's why. That's why these things were open. Now my credit union. I, I mean, I didn't open it to. Oh yes, I did. Back in two thousand fifteen. Yes, I did. I did. So ah, that was open for a balance transfer too. It was seventeen thousand dollars I owed to Citibank, and I could not get my head out above water with that thing. And so I opened up the credit union credit card because the interest rate was horrible on it. And so got that zero percent. You know, you know how it goes if you're if you're into the balance transfers. So and I got, I got that thing paid off. Never ever ever got up there again ever ever. That was an almost maxed out credit card. I've never been there again in life. Thankfully, I learned my lesson. But look, y'all, this is cray cray, right? 
Isn't that crazy? And so, and I'm sitting here in front of you right now saying, so I'm thinking about opening up another one so I can do a balance transfer for my personal loan. This is counseling. I feel like I'm in counseling right now. And this is good. This is good. We're all, let's all sit in the circle and let's talk about this. Okay. Because I probably needed like the whole shopaholics counseling and therapy. Probably needed that back in the day. I don't need that anymore, but now I need balance transfer aholics. Okay. So the reason why I'm having this urge <laughs> to go ahead and open up another credit card to do a balance transfer because uh, the introductory, typical introductory balance transfer fee is 3% of the balance. Um, and so right now my balance is at 6,000 and I'm like, okay, so 3% is $180. Um, Oh, and look, that's less, that's less than the interest that I'd be paying in total. Okay. That's, that's such a, that's not even a huge point because technically I already paid interest. So it, I would be paying like 200 anyway. So that's not even a real point. So let's just, just back up from that one. <laughs> I'm trying I'm throwing large amounts to to get this paid down as fast as po paid off as fast as possible, and I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of of having having to pay at least a thousand dollars every single month to one creditor. That's I think that's what it is. That's what it is, guys. That's it. So I'm gonna leave that subject alone. But I like to keep everything real. Ooh, and this channel is all about accountability. So I'm gonna throw it out there that this is what I'm feeling right now. I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a bad space mentally, I'm thinking with this. And these are my thoughts. So there you go. Let's see if we can flip the script and let's talk about something else before I end this video. <laughs> I wanted to show you my savings. Um so yeah. So I want to show you my little app that I use to keep track of my savings. I mean, I, I look at my, I log into all my accounts and check the balances. And then I have this app that's not connected to any of my accounts or anything, but it's just, a, it's cute. And I can go there without being on the internet and just see the balances because I keep it updated regularly, just like I do with my spender, spending tracker app just like that but this is the piggy bank piggy bank is that right it's the piggy bank app and so i just wanted i'm like yeah let's show you guys my little where i'm at i'm not i haven't made much progress because <laughs> of the hits i've taken and stuff like that but i was like you know what let's let's put money in my piggy bank with you guys and you guys can watch me do that because I, I just really think it's so cute because the pigs they make noises I don't know it's cute we're we're gonna celebrate the the wins you know I wasn't I'm wasn't feeling good about like you know where I'm where I'm at in my uh, journey which is like come on Kim stop stop being so hard on yourself everyone keeps telling me that and I'm like okay 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 I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop and then I don't I don't stop <laughs> I don't stop that's so crazy <laughs> okay I'm not stopping I'm not stopping like what <sighs> I have to get that emergency fund bulked up that's that's the only thing that's gonna keep me out of going into more debt that's it that's what i need i don't have a spending problem no i have a balance transfer addiction <laughs> what is that why do we need help okay okay so first off you'll see my certificate of deposit um last time it was at eleven thousand five hundred fifty one and 27 cents so we are going to put some more money in the bank. We're going to add. 
$60.06. Did you hear that? I should have, I should have, I should have been quiet when it was making that sound. <laughs> mm. That makes me sound so funny. Okay. And then, so now we are at $11,611.33. I've never been this open with like my money. It's so crazy. I'm like, who, who am I? I I'm at this point where I'm just like, I don't even care. I used to be so private about finances and stuff. And now I'm just like, I don't care. Here, look at this. Look, look, this is what I got. Who are you? I have no idea who this person is. Sinking fund. So this is a sinking fund that I plan to use for my Mint Mobile bill, which I pay once a year, which I believe I'm paying now $240 once a year for the package is like 10 gigabytes of data. Um, they have cheaper packages, by the way. In case you're interested in transferring to Mint, you can use my referral code. You get something, I get something. In case you want to. It's a good deal. And then, okay, so my sinking fund, yeah, Mint Mobile and my car insurance. It's a, it's supposed to cover that, but it looks like I'm only sending $75 a month. So I'm like, how is it going to, because my car insurance is like $400 every six months. So it's not going to quite cover that by the time my car insurance is due, which is in April <laughs> and my phone bill is due in May. Whatever. But we're going to go ahead and add $75.54. When you see the change, obviously that's the interest. <laughs> and then, yeah. So now my singing fund has $232.35. So that's almost enough to cover my phone bill. That's probably all it's going to end up covering. Well, today's, now yeah, we're in February. So I have March, April. I have three more months, right? Mm -hmm. Two more months. And then lastly is my little baby emergency fund, which was $163.50. This one I do $100 at a time. And so... We're adding 201, 14. And that's because I didn't, like I've been skipping my updates on this one. So yeah, that's two months worth of deposits. So now we're at $364.64. So let's, let's give a, a quick total of everything. Right now, I have in savings $12,208.32. Technically, $212 because I have $4 in another savings account in my credit union that just sits there. I don't touch that. That's like the, that's the savings account you have to have open. You had to have opened that to be a member. I don't put anything in there because there's like no interest, hardly. So... $12,000 in savings, technically, only 600 of that of that 12,000 is accessible. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's me celebrating the wins, you know, you know what I mean? Like I, I felt, I felt, I'm feeling funny. So, you know, you can give me your advice and what, what you would do um, about the whole opening up another credit card. I gotta tell you though, because I, I know probably a lot of you are like, are you crazy? You better get rid of those credit cards. I get oh, I get that. If that's what you're about to say, trust me, I understand. But the fact of the matter is I don't use my credit cards. They, they just, they literally collect dust. The only time they get any action outside of my credit union, my credit union credit card has my total rep replenish every month. The $20 hits the credit card. And my New York Times subscription, the four dollars. So twenty four dollars every month hits that credit card, and I, you know, I pay it as soon as as soon as I see it pending, I pay it. And yeah, I mean, it's a cash back card, which I must say I got over four hundred dollars 
sitting there ready to be cleaned. I didn't even realize that. I was like, where did all this, where did that come from? So I will take advantage of all the rewards and cashback stuff. I'm going to be that person that uses credit cards like that because, because I recognize that I can be that person. Now, I'm not going to advocate for everyone to do that because I also recognize that credit cards are a big trap and a stumbling block for many people. It's like, it's, it's uh, dangerous for them to have credit cards open. I recognize that. I was that person 10 years ago. You know, I, I was that person. I'm not anymore because I despise interest. Like I despise it unless you're giving it to me. <laughs> then I despise it. If I have to pay it, I'm I'm like, Rawr, you know, and that's enough to make me like, I ain't touching you. <laughs> Yuck. Because these interest rates on these credit cards are ludicrous, ludicrous. Are you nuts? So they don't see any action unless they're getting a balance transfer. And typically credit cards don't get balance transfers from me unless they're giving me the 3% fee because the 5% fee is kind of chunky. That's like, well, that's kind of big. 3% fee, I'm like, okay, I can do it. I can do it, you know, but that's how I end up with all these when you open them that's usually what they offer you so yes i'm thinking about getting another one to transfer the personal loan to so i can stop paying a thousand dollars a month to that one thing that one creditor i'm like i don't know it's making me nuts i i, I want more freedom Guys are like, you're nuts. You better slow it down. Look, you y'all, this is therapy. You guys, <laughs> I'm in the therapy session. You can come for me. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna talk about it. All right. So you see what I'm working with? That's my savings. Um, that's not bad for you know a broke person, right? I mean, eventually I'm gonna have my hands on that. <laughs> 11,000 something in September. Ah, eventually, and that'll be good. And, and probably a good $4,000 of it's going to go straight to debt in September. And then I'll just continue to, to save, to save it. And then just do little by little for the rest of that debt to get it paid off um, on time before that balance transfer promo is up. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Meet me in comments. I get, I I mean, yes, this is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. <laughs> I, had, I had to let you know. I had to. I'm like, you guys, I got to keep it real. This is what's happening. So <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, as I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm, I'm, my heart is palp palpitating. I'm like, my armpits are sweating. Like, oh, what are they going to say to me? They're going to be like, you're nuts. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Okay. Thank you <laughs> for listening to me. And thank you for going easy on me, being nice, like not ripping my face off too hard in comments about my problem. But we need to talk about it. So let's do it. Let's do it now. If you would like to hang out with me and watch me work off this 16 grand worth of debt, actually, we're Technically, we're at 15 now because I did make a thousand dollar payment to a personal loan. If you want to watch me pay off this 15 grand, <laughs> uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on this journey with me, this crazy chaos. You can learn the nutty thinking of my mind and um, we can work this out together. If you're on a debt-free journey or a budgeting journey, any sort, I would love to support you as well. I love rooting for people. I'm big about that. So we, we can be in this together. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Relax, Kim. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope you return. <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you off. I can't stop laughing. Okay, now we're just delirious. Oh my gosh, please come back again. I hope to see you next time. <laughs> freaking out. Oh, okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay.